gets back today, and Jaquan Jackson. A quick turnaround, Alex Porter. Four-man front for the Mustangs. Pressure off the edge coming, Pratt off the pump fake. Buy some time and hit hard back. A little bit of pressure, but the pocket ends up being clean enough. But when he gets outside of the pocket, it's a great job by Kobe Wilson of seeing the quarterback. Ford, a first down, officially. Pratt steps up, avoids that initial traffic. Four man pressure for the ponies, and Pratt under fire, and that pass somehow corralled at the 35. You'll gain a 35 for the moment. I thought he was down when he grabbed it. I thought he was too. The question is, how did this ball get there? I mean, it went through the hands of it seemed like two SMU defenders. Yeah, he's clearly down, well down before after giving up that last first down. Clayton Johnson, the running back, he'll fake it to him. Pratt wants to go long, launching one deep, double coverage. Brazel unable to catch up. Pines going toe to toe. Prince Pines is the left guard. You're going to see the hands to the face. Ends up ripping off the helmet. Cameron Robinson. It'll be second down and a long ways to go. After the penalty, they'll set up the screen. Clayton Johnson now healthy. Just 38 total yards for Tulane so far. Pratt pass was tipped at the line. And Approaching nine to play in our second quarter. Play action for Pratt. Pocket collapsing. Pratt escapes. And deliver. Goes directly to Cancer Research. Green Wave have the football. Out of the Green Wave with less than 40 yards of total offense. Makai Hughes motions out. Pratt across the middle. And the dump off to Bauman. Four man front. Here comes the heat. Pratt stays alive for a moment. Brought down to work with in 92 seconds on the clock. Pratt across the middle. Brazel wide open, and that's a first. The opposite. The reason I thought conservatives, your offense had one first down before this, and if you give SMU the ball back, they're going to have a chance to score again, but a great delivery by Michael Pratt. 22 yards on that play. Pratt off the back foot. Brazel again. Knee was down. Five. and drop the eight on the left side of your screen he's going to engage with the tackle swipe the hands down Clayton Johnson the running back Pratt into the flats Bauman is tied in the safety valve Pratt heaves one deep has a man breaking open and in play call they're going to get ready to take some shots guys yeah Taylor I think aggressive is Brett Lashley's middle name get Makai Hughes going. Hughes on the field. Pratt fakes it his direction. And the dump off to Brown. Brown's in that no huddle offense. Pratt in his last start here at Yulman Stadium. Tunnel screen to Jackson's those last three games. That was costly. Tulane's been on a lot of its key receivers for most of the season. Backside pressure and Pratt fortunate to find Rashad Green. Michael Pratt looks like that right hand is shaking up but on the left side Empty backfield. Ponies bring four. Pratt releases. Brazel incomplete. Balvin moves over as a fullback. Play action and Pratt hides it beautifully. Wide open is Brown. You'll keep Brown. Did look good today. I'll entertain your thoughts for a minute. And listen, Steve Sarkeesian, they're going to be pounding. The so you've got a three yard buffer when the ball's thrown. Sincere Hainsworth. Uh, it's about, uh, about, about five, four and a half. Three. The defending champions on the ropes at home. Crossing path through the air and one more on the ground. Uncorks it. Makai Hughes made one defender. Third and five. Pratt the pump fake and Pratt's going to be swallowed up. And they had Isaiah Smith lined up with Elijah Roberts. Involved in the game plan here tonight, potentially on this drive. We shall see. Pratt was around. Unblockable. He's there now. On third down, Pratt. Brazel, there he is, and that's a hit. Look at Elijah Roberts. He's right across from number 69, but he's a. They need them quickly. Pressure again. Moving quickly, Pratt. Wants to go long and they're going straight to the sticks. 
Michael Pratt knows exactly what defense and scoring defense. And we showed the graphic on the other teams that are there. Season to be better in the secondary, better rushing the passer. And it's been all that and a lot more. Case in point. Hands down. And he's able to get to the quarterback. It's great activity on the right side of your screen. Just knocking the hands down of the tackle. Getting to Michael Pratt. Pratt steps up on third down. Penalty marker comes in near the goal line. Pratt slides in. 188 yards, and they used it as motivation. Scott Simons talked to them about it all week, and they have played with their hair on fire today. Crossing route. Pratt in the Big Easy. Watch the pass rush to your bottom of your screen. Pratt searching for someone. Crosses body. Bauman has it. That's enough for a first down. The tackle some help. Gave Michael Pratt some time. Clayton Johnson. SMU more. After a gain of 11. Green Wave need a quick touchdown and an onside kick and perhaps more help than that. Ecstatic with that commentary. Let's see what happens tonight in Charlotte. Pratt, the head coach for the Green Wave. Eight years, a phenomenal run. Michael Pratt included in that mix. There's no confirmation beyond a shadow of a doubt. I'm coming back to be the head coach here. So perhaps some things to be decided for a coach that has meant every. At least Fritz has left a legacy here at Tulane. And his team was a worthy champion. Pratt. Kai Hughes back on the field. And on first down and goal, Pratt delivered. To the near side. Tulane out of timeouts. Not going to run it under these circumstances. Pratt is going to be sacked. I don't know if he'd have been able to throw the ball. I mean, he's going to come and take some warm-up tosses off to the side. Third down and goal from the 13-yard line. Pratt under pressure again. It'll be made by this defense, by defensive coordinator Scott Simons. By SMU's program overall. On fourth and goal, Bauman dropped it.